Well, welcome to the Holy Tabletop. Today, we're going to be trying something totally new, and you may never get to see it. It's not going to be something that is <laughs> probably broadcast to the world. <laughs> so, this is uh, brand new. This is something we're trying out, and we're we're here being Christians, trying not to ruin a thing. So that's that's something to hold over our, our heads. Um, and uh, today I have <laughs> Dwight Crocker with me today. Welcome, Dwight. How are you doing? I'm well, man. Yeah, really excited to be here. Yeah, the cool. pilot. The pilot. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot. And we got Kyle Keast. Hello. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I get to play the game that my mom always warned me about inside a church. Yeah. So that's a really special day for me. Have you told your mom about it at all? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah. I'll wait for the next holiday to break that news. Once we have a million yeah. subscribers, you can let her know. Exactly. Like, then the know. cattle is out of that. <laughs> or I'm hoping like she's just scrolling through like YouTube or something. It just pops up on like, our videos like, huh? Is well, that my she's son? Just searching for Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. <laughs> she's Dungeons and Dragons and played through. Say. Hang on. D D can It'll be the awkward dude. Spider Man meme, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, that's Spider Man. That's gonna happen in real life soon. Oh, uh, with Spider Man we can far from home, we can, all, we can only can't help. go home or something. No way home. No, no way, way home. home. There's no yeah. way home. There's no way home. So that dates this video. This is never gonna Yikes. go out. It. This is going nowhere. All right. Uh, this it was is, going somewhere. It's I going. <laughs> and this is David Walinski. Welcome, David. I am so excited that this is prototypes and not tights. I won't have to wear my tights anymore. Well, this is prototypes, but. So you missed the memo. Everybody else is wearing tights. I don't know if you noticed under the. I'm table. just wearing them under my jeans. Yeah, yeah under jeans. your jeans. Yeah. So that's well, okay. that makes things awkward. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a D and D virgin, is what you said earlier. Is that right? Wow. <laughs> this is very true. Uh, I never thought that I would play D and D. Not only that, but in a church, and I am excited to lose my virginity. <laughs> wow, you got a whole lot more into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you took it there. I'm glad, I'm glad you took it there. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> but we're ready. We're ready to go. Uh, <laughs> Let's pray and dismiss. <laughs> <laughs> and communion's on the way out, out the door. Oh, right. <laughs> communion's on the way out. They will be handed to you by an usher. Um, uh, yeah. So we're going to start off. Uh, we are entering into a town. I'm going to have you guys journeying together. And so you guys are going to know each other. Maybe you met each other along the road. I mean, how do you feel like you guys have met each other along the road? You don't know a lot about each other, but you just recently met and you're traveling into a town, which we'll talk about in a second. So how do you guys think you met? Should we briefly introduce our characters? Yeah. Yeah. As you're walking, walking along this road, it's autumn. Um, kind okay. of like this TV back there. It's That's autumn. Beautiful. There's leaves falling up from the trees. It's it's beautiful. Um, there's, you know, the, the road kind of travels by a nice trickling water and uh, you both are on... Uh, uh, rental horses. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> At the local Hertz, uh, uh, horse Hertz, the horse uh, hurts. that you got in the last town. So you're on rental horses. Buy one, uh, get one. And you're kind of just, <laughs> you're kind of just uh, <laughs> awkwardly going along. And can you guys both give me a animal handling uh, check, real quick? Animal handling. Roll handling. Animal handling. <laughs> First roll of the campaign. Let's see how it goes. Plus four, so 17. 17, okay, okay. And if, we, if you roll it inside here, the camera will pick it up for you. Oh, is it barely? No. No, we're go. not going to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, no. It doesn't uh, 15. So I actually, 14. 14. You have a minus one animal. <laughs> minus <though>. one animal. <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> well, that's okay. That's good enough. You both are fairly competent in, in the horse riding skill. I was just seeing if any of you are awkward at it at all. But Kyle is really loving his horse. They, Man, we are. You know, it's a rental bonded. horse, but you're, you've bonded over <laughs> the last It's like Gandalf week, and yeah. Shadow Facts. Yeah. You know, just like we're synced up. <laughs> so describe your characters as you're kind of as you're kind of trotting along towards this new town. Yeah. So uh, my character is a uh, thief. So he has a hard uh, upbringing, grew up in a poor town, uh, had to steal in order to survive. Uh, so that's kind of the core of his being, yet he believes that there is a glimmer of uh, redemption in each person, a uh, glimmer of light in each person. So he looks for that good, but mm. has a hard time seeing that because of his upbringing mm. and his background. What does he look like? That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is an African-American Male, <laughs> okay. five eight. <laughs> so kind of looks a little bit like you. About one sixty five. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly the way I put it. Little scruffy beard. Yeah. 
where he's coffee smoothie, in the morning, you know, you know and an apple. Um, yeah. yeah, so he's he's five eight, 160 pounds, African American male, bald. nice teeth though. Yeah, yeah, yeah beautiful, beautiful real teeth. Good teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real good teeth. yeah, really, what <laughs> you're seeing on camera is what you're <laughs> wow. seeing here. If you just add some chain mail, maybe a shield on the back, and a you pony, got, and you're there. there you yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like I am living vicariously through my character right now. <laughs> Interesting. So is the backstory the same as your? Oh, never mind. We won't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't go. Don't, don't check your wallets. <laughs> awesome. Well, what is uh, Robbie Ravenfeather? Robbie. Is a uh, human cleric. He's always been picked on though because he's been he's always been small his whole life and he has a little bit of a lisp. Mm-hmm. And so it's more like Wabi Ravenfeather um, because you know of his lisp. Uh, but at a young age, he discovered he had some sort of connection to this uh, divine, magical, ethereal, other world power. Uh, the problem is, is he's never experienced the divinity which it's connected to. He just knows that he can just like do this stuff. And he kind of got sucked into a crowd of other people who had this connection. And he's kind of been faking this divine connection for a while. Mm. But he's really gifted with the magic part. Okay, yeah, that's um, awesome. But he feels really insecure about it because you know he's kind of been pretending his whole life. So, hearing you say that actually reminded me that my character is agnostic as well. So okay. like, yeah. So I, there's like, well, a- I don't believe either. So. <laughs> 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 now you're like, all right, you lost the connection. <laughs> so we know what we're talking about along the road. You're like, man, yeah, God, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like, mm, yeah, we don't, we don't know how we feel about it. But I could do these really cool magic stuff. Okay, and I don't know why. Okay, or That's where awesome. it comes from. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a chance to read your shield? Uh, what it is? Take a second. No. Go to your okay. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna pick up David's character in a little bit. But as you guys are kind of uh, walking Come along the right. road, uh, you come to. The road kind of widens out, and uh-huh. and you start seeing other people are kind of traveling in and out. You're seeing more and more people, so you know you're getting closer to the town. You honestly don't know where you're going. You're just kind of going somewhere. Mm-hmm. You have like um, a concept in mind, but uh, uh, you you don't know why. You know, you just like you're like we're leaving what we were behind, and and we've met each other along mm-hmm. the road somewhere along the way. You guys are very common in what you're what you kind of feeling right now, and so you're just kind of walking along, and and you start to see the town coming up, and uh, as you arrive, you see um, buildings uh, that are, yeah, you know, they're not the best of maintenance uh, for a town. They're not looking the best. That they're, they're, they're like have tin roofs, and it's kind of rusty, uh, but there is still like kind of a couple. There's no walls for necessarily this little town that nothing to protect it, but there are a couple like, you know, guards kind of sitting. Obviously, that this is high morning at this point, and so they're not really fully awake. Um, they're kind of like sipping on something, maybe their version of a coffee or so. You don't know. Uh, and as you approach, you know, people are going out, but nobody's really going in, mm-hmm. and so they kind of hail you and say, uh, they notice you and they hail you and say, "All right, all right, what? Nobody really comes." Around here, this <clears throat> this part of the the day, what what are you guys doing here? Like, what what's your business with this place? Oh, we're just exploring the sights. We just following the world where it takes us, and we're hoping <laughs> to find some adventure. This is my friend Wyatt. Hi, how are you doing? We're just passing by. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very wide uh, world. <laughs> do you have any sustenance? Uh, so, We're a little bit famished. Yeah, yeah, we have taverns in town. I don't know if they're they're open or not at this point, but you can go check it out. I could use a good breakfast. Yeah, you guys look like. I mean, we don't have people like you. Drone. This is a town. You can tell that is mostly elf. Um, mm. And there's a few humans going around. Uh, you see a couple dragonborn. Uh, like kind of lizard like people not mm-hmm. lizard people but a dragon board kind of walking around too not a lot of humans uh mm-hmm. but you know so they're they're kind of giving you a good look over like not a lot of people come this way so then i would like to change and talk to him in elvish talk to him in elvish okay yeah, just to make him feel more comfortable <laughs> just to let him know that we're cultured or that i'm cultured i don't know about you Are, yeah do you speak elvish I, I actually don't, okay. but I'm very charismatic, so you know, yeah, we, we can we can swoon over between your Elvish talk and. So I would like to explain to the guard that we would just like to see the town, in Elvish, 
And, 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 and you see him kind of perk up a little bit. Like, okay, okay, you're not, you're kind of cultured. Give a kind of a persuasion check mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Persuasion. With advantage. Um, so you can roll twice. Well, that's good because that's not good. <laughs> There we yes. go. Uh, 17. 17, yeah, totally. Okay, he's like, okay, okay, you guys seem like fine people. Um, and uh, you can you can come on in. I, I think the tavern uh, nearby, let's see, uh, <clears throat> still waking up, trying to think. Oh, yes. The the Breezy Fiddle, is it, it's called. If you just go down the road to your left, it's a, it has a sign with a fiddle on it that swings back and forth. Breezy Fiddle. I don't know. <laughs> so... <laughs> Do yeah, you go. Do you want some breakfast? I would love some breakfast. That would be absolutely amazing. Where's the nearest place for for oh my. It's Breezy Fiddle. The Breezy Fiddle. Yeah, yeah. the Breezy Fiddle. I just said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's trying Excuse to me. look a little skeptical at you again. Like, yeah. are you listening to what I'm saying? Like, it's too early in the morning for this. I'm sorry for my friends. Too. <laughs> Too much coffee for me. <laughs> <laughs> much coffee. Okay, just, just get out of my sight. Um, you just go in, go. And so you guys kind of travel down, and, and you, as you enter the town, um, you're kind of traveling down south uh, direction. I don't know why that matters. And you're, you're traveling down, and 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 you're seeing people just kind of starting to open up their shops. Um, life is starting to spring forward as it's this early morning. Um, you guys are very early morning goers, and. Uh, you see the breeze of fiddle coming up along the way, and as you're as you're kind of trotting along, you see this massive uh, person exit uh, what you assume to be uh, some kind of an infirmary or or a hospital or something, because it kind of has herbs and, and decorations on it. Um, and David, would you describe your character as he exits this infirmary from uh, and entrance King Juggernaut? Like that's yeah. the whole. Uh, <laughs> background here and he ex excited uh king juggernaut grew up very athletic and winning many championships from the shot put and keg toss because those are obviously Ooh, keg toss. you know very very important yeah. uh, toss, athletic yeah. uh you know events here and uh after that i served in the military for quite a while and when i was in the military i actually was injured and left the war and was raised by wolves and had some other wolves attack me but I am recently now out of the infirmary from them. <laughs> what a story. And here I am. And so like, what now a I'm so excited. <laughs> we did a little round with, uh, he'll tell it later maybe, but I just, I didn't know you were raised by wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after they're... the war? Yeah, no, they're the ones that saved me while I was injured from the war. Got gotcha. like, you. Know, so you're like, injured in the war. In the war. You were kind like, of nursed back to health as a by wolves. By wolves. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> we go. had a, a, like a different pack attack me, and uh, so it's like Jungle Book, except if Mowgli was like an adult. Meets Jason Bourne. Yeah, meets like, Jason. Meets, <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> Have you forgotten what has happened to you since this attack? Uh, no. Not a Jason Bourne, though. Like, yeah. No, you know who you are. You kind of know these things. Sadly, uh, barely, we're coming to. Uh, okay. I will, maybe a few pieces we'll add as we build and okay, carry cool. on. So great. you speak Born wolf. supremacy. Uh, how yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have great animal handling skills as well. Uh, nice. Yeah. So you're you're a Goliath. So how like what do you look like as you walk out of this building? Yeah, how big are we talking? Yeah, like, so like these little elves, you know, come up to like my knee. Uh, Your knee. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. 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 How tall are you? I, I'm like nine foot eight. Holy! And I am a solid four hundred pounds. Gigantic. So, yeah. Oh yeah. my! So like, so you're, you're not gonna be riding a horse. You notice as he exits the infirmary what you can assume, and he has to like duck to get Under out the of door. the door. Like you don't even know how he fit in the building. Right. But somehow they got him in there. <laughs> They actually and, built it around me. And you notice as he takes a step, because it shakes the ground just a little bit, yeah. you know? And your horses see him. And can you make an animal handling check for me? Like, Absolutely. How, how do the horses perceive you? Oh, animals love me. All right. That uh, was determined to be a lie. Is that a natural, <laughs> is that a natural one? <laughs> that is an actual one. However, I get a plus three, so it'll okay. be a four. Still a but it's one. still not good. <laughs> still, yeah, yeah, yeah. still a critical fail. All right. So uh, normally, you know, animals love you, and you do have that skill, so we're not going to totally fail that. Right. But normally animals love you, but just seeing you appear out like a clown. Like, They're just not you know, used like, to me. Yeah. Like, 
50 clowns coming out of a little punch buggy. Like, like this is what it looked like you coming out of there, and it just startles the horses. And they kind of, your horses kind of rear up, and can you guys both make de dexterity saving oh throws boy. to see if you stay on your horses? Because they are just terrified out of nowhere. They don't know you. They haven't had a chance to get to know you. So All these like, little elves really ooh, threw off. 13. Six. Six. Okay. Come flying off. Yeah, yeah. You go, you just fly off <laughs> the horse <laughs> and land like, you know, 10 feet away and take, uh, you know, uh, oh gosh, uh, four points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Gosh. So nice to meet so you. Take that up. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Uh, I wasn't supposed points. to be that uh, crazy. Up in the top but... <laughs> nope. Uh, not quite that top. You land on your head. Like, you oh, take okay. a lot of damage. That's why you take uh, a damage. Every second. And Kyle just barely stays on. Like, I'm like clinging like, to like, the horse. Of, like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, clinging, person. Yeah. like yeah. <laughs> I'm like on that rope just swinging yeah. around its neck. Yeah, yeah. You swear. <laughs> You're like holding onto its neck still. Yeah. So you have to like drop down now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the horse is freaking out. Uh, and they they leave like as you swinged up. They just run off. There goes our rental. Yeah, they run <laughs> off the way you came. Like that's the way they. That's where they they were. Hertz bred is never gonna believe born. this. And you just hope mm. that they find the the you know the horse rental place that they they came from. <laughs> I actually hope because uh, this is my first encounter with them. So. Oh yeah, and you love animals except yeah, for I those do wolves love animals. that you immediately murdered earlier. Um, there was a good cause that nobody knows about. <laughs> There was a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so obviously you've been acquainted with this guy. Uh, what do you say to him as this has occurred? <laughs> yes. Well, first I go uh, running over to Wyatt. Okay, yeah. Because I see that he's hurt, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, some healing abilities on okay, him. Okay, yeah. Just because I care about my, my man. My flint. Yeah. yeah, my man. Thank you. What do you cast? Uh, I am going to cast... Let's see. I'm thinking we're gonna do. And since this is like out of battle, I'll let you do a medicine check if you and do a, a D4 if you want to heal him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a one D4. Yeah. Um. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's do a medicine check. If you do high enough. Mm, six. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna. Okay. So you, you, you first try to do medicine. Uh, his neck is really gnarly. I'm gonna do cure wounds. Okay. I'm cool. just gonna run over and just lay my hand on on you and cure you. Cool. Uh, and then I roll a d8. So. <laughs> <laughs> great start. What was it? A one. So okay, you but get... you get a plus seven to your, your cure wound. Oh, because... perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so go ahead and mark right, that off so, your spell yeah, slot. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. So you're totally healed. There you're we just go. like, you just met this guy, but you, and you just like screwed up your neck right there. And all of a sudden he comes running over and he just goes, <laughs> like some magic. What does your magic look like, by the way? Uh, my magic is, it's like, it's got a golden color to it. Okay. Um, kind of like this very radiant, bright, like a golden flash. Okay. It's just kind of how it is. Just a blinding golden flash. And like and in a past feels... life, I was able to use it like for party tricks and stuff. Like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. And it was like making people sober out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, like, like, what, what is going on? All of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, oh, Killed that's Killed my cool. buzz, bro. Yeah, I would actually <laughs> turn wine into water. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool like the first three times, and then people were like, hey, stop doing this. Hey, that. stop. I really <laughs> want more wine. <laughs> you can drink more, but then you're like, wait, I'm totally sober. Oh, gosh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you just healed Wyatt there. And what, what are you going to say now that you've like, so, caused like, some serious damage? Yeah, so like, I feel like super bad about uh, scaring off these horses. And I wanted to see if I could use my speak with animals spell. As from, they're running away, yeah. As they're try. running away to like try and convince them. And not only would I... What does it do? Tell me. Yeah, so you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with the beast uh, for the duration. But not only that, I'm wondering if I could use my animal friendship spell as well. You're gonna do both. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm just uh, trying to like make up for this these people that I just met. I like the compassion that they have for one another. Mm. And like Hertz is gonna be really mad that this horse ran off. And so like I really wanna be sure it's Hertz is not a nice guy. I'm gonna say you only have time to do back. one. Alright, only one. Alright. Yeah. So um I guess I'm gonna because it has to be within range. And so I think speak with the animals is yeah, what I'm going to try. Yeah, because everyone only affects one at a time. Yeah, so I'm going to try and convince these guys that uh, just because they've seen all these little elves, I'm actually just as friendly. I'm just massive and looking for a meal. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, cast a spell and then roll animal handling for me. 
five plus something. So what would I be adding for your animal my, handling? My animal handling yeah. is plus three. So eight. Eight. Uh, yeah, they hear a voice in their head. They're not very intelligent, uh, horses, uh, but they hear a voice in their head saying, please, please, I'm not that scary. And they've never heard a voice in their head before. And so they, <laughs> they're not batting 100. They f they freak out even further, unfortunately. Uh, and they keep run they run. Like, they they've never heard this voice in their head before. They don't believe it. They just saw a monster a exit a infirmary. And uh, they, they have no, I mean, they kind of like, one of them liked Wobby, uh, but they have no connection. They're just yeah. rental horses. So they're going back home. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my deposit. Yeah, yeah. there we go. There goes my <laughs> effort. And you guys kind of watch as he, he kind of raises his, his hand to the horses and it, like his ring glows for a few seconds. And he like, th you could see him thinking. Mm. And uh, you kind of look up and see this, this happening. And the horses start running further away. Like, so as far as you know, this guy's trying to get rid of your horses. It's, <laughs> he's casting something. So what, what do you do? As a thief, I would be scoping out his ring to see if I could steal that. Okay. Good to, to see know. if it's as, see if it's valuable, to see if it's something that I can take. Well, it's obviously and... glowing. It's, it's, it's some kind of item of, you don't know what. <laughs> okay. But um, make a, I mean, make a perception check for me. <laughs> not very perceptive. No, not, no. not yeah, very it, perceptive. It looks, at all. it looks real nice. That's that's what you know. It looks real nice. Okay. Yeah, and it's glowing. That's yeah. Hey, what what gives? Those were our horses. Yeah, that's the funny part is is I was trying to save the horses for you and with us because uh, kind of like the way you guys show compassion for one another and wanted to be a part of something like that. Do we not have any friends? I uh, only have wolves as friends. Wolf, wolves? <laughs> well, I, I like wolves. What brought you into town? Yeah, I was in battle and was injured. And uh, thankfully, I had this pack of wolves raise me as their own. Uh, but we had a battle and uh, I was injured by another pack. That is incredible. And these elves dragged me here, all 45 of them. 45 elves <laughs> wagging you through the forest? Oh my word. That's As you crazy. can tell, I am... Uh, what do you imagine elves being? Are you thinking like Santa elves right now? Or are you thinking like... I'm thinking like yard gnome elves. Like, oh, no, these uh, are like Lord of the Rings elves. Oh, all right. They only need a, a little bit bigger. They're not that the small. I mean, they're like human height, usually. Okay, yeah, all right. Like, they're taller than me. <laughs> taller than me. <laughs> 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 still, they still need to be a, a, a few uh, with 400 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, do you guys join up together? You gonna invite them him over for breakfast? Yeah, come join us. I want to hear more about the wolves. More about the wolves. Yeah. All right. Tell us more about the wolves. What? Well, What's let's the cool. deal? I want breakfast. You want breakfast? Right. So, so you can talk eat? over yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Yeah. I know Eat I don't look hungry, but I am. So okay. yeah, I'm down. So as you walk down the. You guys walk together and you kind of walk down and the ground kind of shakes as your friend is stomping. Like he does not, there's no sub, subtly, not that, uh, he just, and, uh, <laughs> and as you walk, you see a sign, a clear sign that has a fiddle and says the breezy fiddle on it. Uh, just like the guard said earlier, if you remember. And uh, you walk in and you're greeted by just a nice warm atmosphere, uh, like lots of lights, a lot of, lot of natural light, a lot of windows. Um, not a lot of people there, uh, doesn't look like People come here often, things are kind of dirty, but it's warm, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it's well lit. Uh, but not a lot of people come here. This doesn't seem like you don't know why. And so you kind of walk up to the bar owner. There is a person kind of just sitting there lazily with his hand on his, it's, a, it's an elf. Um, um, like, you know, kind of a dark complexion, long white hair, uh, just sitting there kind of <sighs> yeah, um, just sitting there, and uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to do a perception check Okay. to see his mood and to see if there's something that I can charm him with. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, see if you can perceive why he's uh, kind of grumpy. First so I, nat 20 of the campaign. You immediately notice as you walk in 
that he is looking down at a bunch of bills and papers and uh, he's trying to make sense of it. And you can tell, you can guess by the fact that this isn't very well used of a place that he's dealing with some financial hardship um, right now and he's just trying to make ends meet. You can really make that assumption and you know it's probably true. So that's why he's looking kind of grumpy and upset. Mm. Okay. Hey, barkeep. <laughs> Innkeep. <laughs> huh? Keep... What? What? Huh? What's what's your uh, in-house special for today? I my in my in-house special. Hmm. Uh uh Birdie, do we have food? Ah, you kind of hear somebody in the background in the Ah, oh, I have I don't have anything fired up right now. Why? We we have people. Like people, like real people here. Oh, I'll get the, the stove started. <laughs> you kind of hear scrambling in the background. Yes, yes. Uh, I, we can have any special you like. What, what do you, what do you like? You know, I'd love to cook you something. We get, what do you got? Mm. You know, I love grilled cheese sandwiches. Grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwiches reminds well, me of home. That's great. We have. Can you just? What is a sandwich, per se? Uh Two slabs of bread, bread, okay. with cheese melted in the middle, a little bit of butter on top. Okay, yeah. Uh, Bernie, do we have any cheese? <laughs> Cheesy yeah. wheezy. Oh look, I'm sure I can make some. <laughs> <laughs> make some. <laughs> I'll have that. Grilled cheeses for all of you. Grilled cheeses. I actually, could have some porridge. Por porridge. Yeah, we got porridge. Bernie, make some porridge and put some cheese between bread. Uh, bring it out, okay? What do you want? What, what do you want, sir? I want one of them cheese sandwiches. Yeah, two of those cheese things with the bread, okay? Okay, sir. And so, <laughs> 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 so he's he's starting to brighten up. He's like, oh, what brings you in town? Come have a seat at the bar. No need to go to the, those tables are a little dusty. Just come on up. Like, what brings you guys to town? What are you guys doing here for? We got the food will be here any second. I'm just sure, you know. What brings you guys to town? <laughs> I'm weaving my past behind. I'm done with the old life, on to the new one. All right, so you're, you're a traveler. Uh, this is a, a great place to make, uh, you know, I have work, you know, and uh, if you, you know, cleaning, lots of cleaning work. Uh, this is a great place to start a new life, you know, it'd be good. Mm. Uh, this, you're just a suggestion, mm. a thoughts, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know mm -hmm. if you noticed the help wanted sign in the, the window mm. or not. Uh, yeah, what Yeah. What brings you to town? Just a, just a suggestion, sir, you know, just. Suggestion. Just passing by, trying to find uh, a new life, trying to find a way to make some good money. Hmm. Well, I don't know about good money, but you could make money here. Uh, just a suggestion. You know, same same thing. You know, you you have a sword and a shield, but I don't have any of that kind of work. Uh, but uh, maybe you can grill some cheeses out here uh, and really make a life a name for yourself. We have lots of business. Hmm. Mm. I feel like you're lying to me. Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> 18, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know he's totally lying to you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's been hard times. Uh, a lot of the people around you can't afford to stay at an inn or, and nobody comes, nobody comes here. Uh, you're the first guest we've had for a while. <laughs> so yeah, and, and the people in this town are very poor, unless you go across the river uh, into the meadow, you know, where all the uppity people, they have their own taverns there, you know, that they, they only eat there, but they don't eat out here. You know, nobody could really afford it out here. So yeah. Was this town ever like bustling or happening? Yeah, uh, a while ago. Um, but I don't really know what happened. I came, you know, like five years ago, it was like this, but people tell me that it used to be a bustling place. And then like maybe all kind of the more well-off people moved across the river. Um, yeah, and then people have been just going missing and no, everybody's really terrified to leave their homes these days, you know? Mm. My heart goes out for them because of my background and upbringing. Mm. Um, so I can really empathize with the um, owner of the shop, and uh, I'm wanting to do something They're about it. So, yeah. uh, what 
do you know anything about where people are going is there any hints of of where they go into a forest a house how are these people what, what's the last thing you've heard from these people yeah people have been um they've been disappearing uh we don't really know where uh we don't know how uh, it's just it's really bizarre nobody knows um but if you could search around and, and try to figure out what's going on, we would so appreciate that. I, we don't have much to offer, honestly. Uh, I know I wasn't so honest with you earlier, but we don't have <laughs> much to offer. Uh, I have some dusty beds upstairs. Are any you of your use. friends missing? Uh, you know, when I first came here five years ago, uh, my wife was with me and uh, um, she went missing shortly after that. That was a long time ago. Um, and I've since moved on, you know. I'm trying the dating life out these days. It doesn't work well when everybody's hiding in their homes. Um, but I've tried the, the knock on the door method. Mm. Uh, not working, no, mm. Mm -mm. no. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, just imagine me, you know, a uh, nice, handsome man like me walking up to your door and, and being like, Hi, ma'am. Do you do you have a significant other? Uh, it doesn't work, you know. And everybody just is hiding away in these parts of town, uh, and we're not really allowed to cross the river into the meadow area. But I, I think they're maybe they know more. I don't know because they're out and about. So they, we don't transfer information very well here because okay. we're all hiding. How about you? What brings you to town? Uh, so all this drab talk, you know. Uh, <laughs> what brings you to town? It's a great question. Large man. <laughs> I hey. am actually thankful for those in this Are town. Are you sitting, by the way? Uh, I am definitely sitting at the bar. I too. have to imagine, like, yeah. the chair. Just, like, I was going to roll for the life chair. support. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to roll for the poor chair. Oh, the chair rolled really well. Wow. So, <laughs> you sit in this chair that is not designed for you, but you're used to that. Um, and it creaks. It makes a loud creaking sound, which again you're very used to. And and the owner looks over at you, like as if, oh no, my good chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it survives, and you're totally fine. So, yeah. What what brings you to town? Uh, actually, I'm really thankful for your town uh, because they helped save me, and they found me uh, in the woods, kind of wounded from this oh, wolf attack. Oh yes, you're you're the man they found floating in the that pond with two dead wolves sitting beside you, floating beside you. It was a massacre. There's four dead wolves in that clearing. You must hate wolves. No, no, no. I actually love wolves, and I was protecting what? my family. <laughs> <laughs> because that's one of my traits, is uh, never leaving a man behind and always protecting my family. Oh, your family was there. Yeah, my ah. family actually was... What a kind man. ...a pack of wolves. They were called Left Eyes. The Left Eyes? Yeah. Do you speak wolf? Uh, I absolutely speak wolf. Okay. I have to like imagine that? like there's a level of skepticism <laughs> between Wyatt and I like yeah, we're, like, like, what we're, like listening to the story and, like <laughs> hmm. <laughs> family it's a real of wolves. Thing, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I, they called me left eye because my right eye moves. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, that is an incredible story. That is incredible. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad they they saved you. Yeah, those are some really good folk. They're some of the woodcutters around here. They're some of the few that have to go out. Obviously the farmers, but uh, they stick together, you know, because people just keep going missing. But uh, I'm glad they were able to find you. Uh, incredible. Glad you're floating face up. Man, you are near death. That's what I hear anyways. It was definitely near death. But I was wondering how we could help you and how and if my new acquaintances would love to Partner. Are you guys are you guys good friends? We actually just met. Oh, just met. He so scared far, off a little rocky. He scared off uh, our horses and never still, gonna get my wental back. Yeah, still trying to figure out how I feel about that. Oh, to be honest. But we're trying to patch things up over breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Nothing like nothing like some grilled cheese. Hey, Bernie, are you all the grilled cheese? Uh, we're doing okay back here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you kind of smell like some burning uh, smells. Uh, mm. Maybe maybe the smell of like some interesting cheese uh, burning as well. You're not sure, uh, but it is blue cheese, <laughs> <laughs> Fomonda cheese, blue blue cheese, but maybe like not the moldy, blue cheese like on purpose. Blue cheese, cheese, you know. You know like... <laughs> 
Yeah. Like goat cheese that was fresh like a year ago. Yeah. You know, it's like long your, since. Your food will be out very shortly. I'm, I'm very excited for you to have this this five star meal at my establishment. I'm sorry I'm lying to you again. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you can at least eat it. We don't get many customers. Do you have any be beverages like coffee or? Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. Birdie, bring out the black water. Yes. Black water. Black water. That's what we call it here mm. uh, in, in, <laughs> in town. <laughs> <laughs> it will wake you right up. I, I, trust me. It's a good stuff. I, I recommend a whole cup of it. Just just drink it quick. Drink it quick like a good whiskey. That's <laughs> what, like, just, just don't think about it. It will wake you right up. That's all I'm saying. My, yeah. Good stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. If you could help the town out, that would be great. Uh, maybe go across the river. Uh, is there, there a mayor? Or? There is, yes. He lives in his own little castle estate uh, on the other side of the meadows, is which is called the, you know, the nice area of the town. And he, he lives over there. Uh, you'll have to go cr through the meadows and uh, get past his guards. Uh, much better guards than our guards here in town. If I think if anybody attacked us, I don't know what they would. We have nothing. Um, but we would have no chance. We'd be dead instantly. So luckily nobody's attacked us like any hordes of anything so that's great um people keep going missing anyways just yeah there's a guy his name uh oh gosh what's his name he doesn't visit very often uh his name is alder great hand that's right alder if you go there maybe maybe he has some information for you he he runs the town um like i said he doesn't come around these parts very often though yeah. And as he's talking, they, he brings uh, Birdie, who is a very short, actually a gnome, not an elf, uh, kind of walks around. You kind of see the top of his head over the, the, you see the doors move, you know, from the back. You don't see him, but you see his top of his like golden hair, kind of spiked hair, kind of peeking up over the, the counter as he walks around with three big plates. Uh, one he realizes is not big enough for you. Uh, King. <laughs> but he puts it in front of you meekly like I, I, I hope you enjoy this uh, and and then he brings you your porridge and your 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 sandwiches and uh, the cheese is not white or yellow it is definitely green um, it's kind of coming out the sides uh, of your sandwiches uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy this and he also goes back quick bring, comes back out and brings uh, some glasses of just this hot black, thickish liquid. Um, <laughs> it puts it in front of you and looks at you expectantly. He's like, I hope you enjoy it. And he doesn't, he doesn't leave. He just looks at you. Like, I, like he hasn't cooked for somebody in a long time. I turn to uh, the owner and I try to persuade him to give any bit of information that he knows about the owner, distracting him distracting everyone away from the food and the drinks <laughs> to see if uh, our it's, excuse about, me the mayor about the, the mayor okay uh anything that could help us in our conversation with the mayor specifically so um, well, what do you say what do you say to persuade me uh hey so we would love to help out especially with those who are missing in the area but is there any information that you could give us about uh the mayor that could help us in our conversation with him well he's a I won't make you roll. Uh, <laughs> he's a very strict man, uh, as you can see. You can look down at his papers, um, and they're actually taxes. Uh, we don't make a lot of revenue, but we get taxed heavily down here. It's one of the reasons we have so many troubles. And so uh, he says it's to, to build up our defenses. We haven't seen a lot of that, uh, but... Are they both distracted by this conversation? Are they, they both paying uh, attention to what uh, you're well, saying? Let me see what their perceptions are. <laughs> Yes, they're very distracted. <laughs> so. so I'm going to slowly pour my black water on the floor. <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> Do a stealth check this, like, for me. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. I like, take one sniff and I'm like, because mm. <laughs> I don't want to be wooed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. That's good. Uh, but straight on oh, the floor. Kind of wounded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, gonna say that, but you're just gonna straight on the floor. You're not gonna look for some better repository of some sort. Uh, let me do a yeah. Let me do a quick look around and see if there's like a okay, appropriate roll place. investigation. All right. All right. Sixteen yes. plus. Okay. Luckily, there is a nearly dead plant sitting next to the bar. Yes. Uh, perfect. That you can pour it into and roll stealth real All quick right. to see stealth. if they notice. Yep, yep, yep. It'll be really hard for them to notice. 14. Yeah, no, okay. you're totally All right, fine. perfect. Sweet. 
Yeah, so you just pour it off. It's great. Uh, yeah, uh, delicious. But as they're talking, he look one looks ex- you know Birdie looks expectantly over at you like your food you know and your drink you know, just like that that's what he's saying with his eyes like I can't wait for you to try this. And I am also going to add to the distraction and <laughs> with some of my uh, acrobats and athletics. Uh, <laughs> I, describe what you're going to do. Before that, you. That's the best part is that I'm going to put the entire sandwich in my mouth and do a backflip for everyone uh, to just what? kind of uh, distract. That's part of my thing. I okay, am roll. very athletic and very uh, You're also acrobatic. gigantic. Roll that's uh, the best. acrobatics. That's why it's such a distraction. Roll acrobatics with the... Uh, uh, but um, what's the thing where it's worse? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. So Roll twice, dis- and the, twice and the twice and the worst number. One. Yeah. 